Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And welcome to Mornings with Lady T Talks. Happy Tuesday. And welcome, oh God, welcome, oh God, Lord. <laughs> welcome this morning um, to Mornings with Lady T Talks. I am excited to be here with you today. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate you today. Um, do me a f small favor as you come in and share this on your timeline. Share this on your timeline. Tag somebody that could use this video um, today in their life. Um, and we're going to be talking about um, some tips on how to um, overcome fear. All right. So I'm excited to share with you today. Um, so please, as you come in, um, just say hi, say good morning. So I know that you're watching live. Um, and if you are watching the replay, um, put hashtag replay. Good afternoon or good evening, depending on where you are in the country um, and or when, when you're watching this video. So good morning and welcome to Mornings with Lady T Talks. I'm excited to be here with you on today. Um, well, we're going to start with our confession and then we're going to dig in. Okay. So I am what God says I am. I can do all that God says I can do. I'm not weak. I am strong. I am not bound. I am free. I am not sick. I am healed. I am living on top. I am prospering in all that I do. I am thriving and flourishing in my mind and my business, on my job, with my family and my relationships and in life. I am growing into the person that God has designed me to be. I am a money magnet. Money flows to me easily. I attract millions. I am able to give more because I have more. I am healed. I am delivered and I am set free. I am whole and complete in Christ. I forgive easily. I am grateful for this day. I am a believer. This is my confession and I'm sticking to it. Okay. We're going to confess this every single day. So I'm encouraging you to write this confession down, add to this confession, come up with your own um, things that you need to decree and declare in your life today. Don't just let the day go by and be stagnant. Okay. So what are you confessing today? We're going to confess this every day. I'm going to get this in atmosphere. We are going to do this. Okay. So that is our confession today and we are sticking to it. So um, once again, welcome. And today we're going to be talking about some steps on how to move past fear and how we can live our life we desire. Okay. So I'm going to start with a quote. <clears throat> Um, and it says, one day your heart will stop beating and none of your fears will matter. What will matter is how you live. When I read this quote, um, a lot of times I hear people talk about the dash, right? That dash in between when you were born and when you die. That's what matters. And we get caught up. We get wrapped up. We get tied up. We get tangled up in things that we're facing today and face every day that we forget that we really need to live a life of purpose, right? We need to live a life that's going to leave a legacy for those that will come behind us, our children, our grandchildren, our nieces, our nephews, um, our family members, right? That are going to come behind us. What, what example are we leaving for them? What are we giving them? Are we giving them hope? Are we just giving them fear? Are we, are we teaching them the right things or are we teaching them the wrong things? Right? So when your heart stops beating, when you're done, when your time is up, the only thing that's going to matter is how you lived. What example are you leaving for people? What legacy are you leaving for people? You can leave money, but if they don't know how to take care of the money, if they don't know how to invest the money, if they don't know how to save the money, if they don't know how to use the money correctly, you've left them money for them to go through. What kind of legacy are you leaving people, right? What kind of faith are you leaving people? Are you leaving them with broken? Are you leaving them, you know, with, you know, not the right tools that they need to get through life? No, I'm, 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 I am determined to leave my children, my grandchildren, my great grandchildren, and however long this earth continues to go on a legacy of faith, a legacy of hope, a legacy of change, not just financial, but every area of their life. So they could be whole and complete. Amen. All right. So the first tip today is to acknowledge fear. Now, a lot of times 
we look at fear in a negative sense. We look at fear um, as a bad thing when fear actually can be can be looked at as a good thing. So one, we have to acknowledge that the fear is there. Like the fear is real. I feel this, right? To live in the moment and say, listen, I feel this. This this is really real, right? And not a lot of times we, we say, oh, well, it's, you know, we try to push it to the side. We try to look over it. But no, let's acknowledge it. Let's say, okay, this is this is a real thing. This is a real feeling. I'm 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 excited experiencing this right now and it's okay we don't we don't want to stay there but we want to acknowledge that it's there okay so we have all had some type of fear in our life or fears in our life that we've had to deal with some people have had a fear of dying some people have had a fear of failure some people have had a fear that no one loves them no one cares about them they're not good enough they're not worthy enough right there's a lot of different fears that people have dealt with right that we have all had to face do we stay in the fear or do we face the fear acknowledge the fear and move past the fear okay some of the fears are hidden. We don't even know that we are struggling with fears. And I'll give you this example. So one of the things that I am huge on is working on myself, working on my mindset, working on my thoughts and things, you know, whatever. I'm working on me. I'm a work in progress, right? It's like that under construction. Well, that's me. I'm under construction. And as I'm doing my studying and as I'm teaching and I'm doing all these different things, one of the things that I came to the conclusion of is that I really had a fear of money, right? That money is scarce. There's not enough. I'm looking at my bank like, like just right. And so as I'm acknowledging this, I'm seeing this, this is a real feeling, right? Fear of not having enough fear of living from one paycheck to the next paycheck, right? These fears are real. We're going to acknowledge them, but we're not going to stay there because one, the, the finances that are in my bank account, my credit is not a dictation of what God is going to do in my life, right? I have to overcome and work it. So this was a fear that I didn't even realize I had until I started doing research and start until I started really looking into it. I'm like, oh, wow, I really do struggle with this. So I really got to get this under control. So I had to acknowledge it, that it was a fear that was hidden in my life that now it's exposed. I'm going to face it and I'm going to overcome it. Right. So and then there's those fears that we ignore. Right. How many of us, especially women and some men, too, you, there's warning signs, there's flags, there's things that go up and we're like, Oh no, it's not that serious. Oh no, it can't. This person would never do that. Or, Oh no, this situation or circumstance, whatever, right? We'll overlook it. We'll overcome it. We'll ignore it because we don't want to face it because it's real, right? We might hear something like there's been nights, um, that we'll be in here and we'll be in bed and I'll hear something. And I'm like, Oh, I'm going to sleep. Like it. First of all, I'm not going to fear that anything's going to happen. I'm just going to go to bed, but fear will have you up. Like, Oh my God, what's going on? Like, right. And then we'll ignore it. We'll ignore some warning signs. We'll ignore some things that are there that God doesn't want us to ignore. So there are some types of fears that are hidden. There are some types of fears that we choose to overlook and ignore ignore, but we're going to acknowledge them today. We're going to face them. The point that I'm making here is that we've all struggled with some type of fear, whether we've overcome that fear, whether we're still dealing with that fear. The fact of the matter is we've all dealt with some type of fear. And if this is adding any value to your life, as you come in, can you share this on your timeline? Tag somebody in this video. I'm I'm not friends with all your friends, right? And this is how we spread the word by getting the word out, by sharing videos so that your friends can see these videos and people can get this word on fear and get freed today, right? Get healed, get delivered delivered and get set free. That's what we want for people. Right. So fear can show up as procrastination. Now I did not know this. I, well, I, maybe I did know, but I didn't really realize it or I ignored it. Right. So how many of us can be honest and say we've struggled with procrastination? I'll raise my hand. I'll be the first partaker, right? Because we procrastinate because we don't understand what's over there. We're afraid that what if I, I'll never forget this in February when I hired my coach, um, and I was going through some of the things and we were working through some of the goals and things that we, um, that I had set for myself. And I came to the realization that I was fear. I had feared being successful. Like it could really happen. And then what does that look like? Is that going to change me? And I had all these feelings and emotions. Right. And so that's a, that's a normal fear. So fear of being successful. 
not fear of failure. A lot of people deal with fear, fear of failure, but there's some people that deal with the fear of being successful. What if it really does work? What if people really do love you? What if people really do want to support you, right? That's a fear that some people struggle with. And it's an okay fear to face, but don't stay there because that's what we should expect people to support, people to love, people to want to be a part, right? These are these are good things, right? So there's the fear. Fear can show up as procrastination. Fear can show up as an excuse. Well, I might be able to, maybe, right? But we make excuses. I can't because we're afraid. And we're afraid to say we're afraid. Like that scares me. Like I really want to do it, but I'm afraid, right? All of us at some point, we want we don't want people to look at us and look down upon us right we don't want people to judge us we want people to just look at to see this great talana to see this great person right they we don't want people to see that's why we always say people meet the representative we don't really meet the real person until you get to know the person then you're like oh wow this is not who I thought it was, right? We meet the representative. We very, very rarely meet somebody and then it's really that person. Like they have never changed. They, this is who they are. You, This is what you get, right? Um, and I take pride in really trying to show up like that every single time I meet somebody. Like this is who I am, like it or not like it. One of the things I can say that when I met my husband, um, I sat him down. And I said, listen, this is what you're getting. Do you getting a hot mess? I done been this, this, and this, and I done been through this, this, and this. And, you know, I was a broken person, but I was like, if you're going to be with me, this is what you're getting. Like, take it or leave it. At the end of the day, what's the worst that could happen? You can walk away. I'm going to be okay, right? A lot of times it's hard to do that, right? In relationships, because we don't want, we don't want to be alone. And it's that fear of being alone. What if they really do see the real me? What if they really do know the real Talana? Are they going to still love me? Are they going to still respect me? me? Are they going to still want to be around me? Right? We can't worry about that. Show up and be yourself, be your authentic self. And sometimes it's hard to do that because you've lost you because of fear, right? We've lost ourselves because of what people will think. If I really say I'm here, this is me, take it or leave it. The fear of people not loving, honoring, and respecting us is there. So we kind of lose our authentic self in not showing up as ourself, right? So one of the things that I want to encourage you to do is find yourself. Learn to love yourself for who you are. First of all, sometimes we scare ourselves. I will say that as I'm as I'm on this journey in my life to really find out who Talana really is and who am I, right? And asking myself this question every day and trying to really understand the person that God created. It can get scary and it can even be intimidating to me because I'm like, wow, this is a powerful person coming here, right? And what do you do with all this light and all this shine and all this power that God is giving you, this anointing? What do you do with it? It can be very scary, but you gotta face it and know that you're not doing it by yourself, that God is doing it with you, okay? So we talked about, it, fear can show up as procrastination. Fear can show up as an excuse. It can also be a false perception about reality, right? We can make up, how many of you have ever made up something <laughs> and you might not even have did it, did it intentionally. You might have did it unconsciously because fear really is something that is, It's uh, as I'm studying it, it's really something. Fear is really something, right? And we can make up false realities because we don't want to face the real reality. So we make up a false reality, right? And there's always your story. There's always three sides to a story. There's your story, the other person's story, and the actual truth of the story, right? And sometimes we think we're telling the story correctly, but along the way, we were um, fabricating or putting some, some pieces in there that wasn't there or taking some pieces away that wasn't there, right? Because of false reality, right? We want to make it appear a certain way. So we want to come on, we want to show up and put on this face and say, everything is okay and smile and say, everything is okay. But inside we're broken inside. We're hurting inside. We're fearful inside. We're scared to death. Like what's really going to happen. 
but we got to face it, right? We got to face those false realities that we've put up, that we've painted, that other people have put up for us, right? That other people have painted for us. And we just got to decide to live the life that God designed for us. And some of us have to find that life because we done lost it, right? We done lost our authentic self. The last thing that fear can show up as is as a limiting belief. Now, this is something that is really dear to my heart because I teach on limited beliefs, right? I teach on lies and exposing the lies and all these different things. But a limited belief can show is 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 fear, right? We don't want to think of it as fear. We don't want to see it as fear. We don't even want to believe it as fear, but it can show up as fear, right? It's a limited belief. And whether that belief, that limited belief was passed down from one generation to the next or something that we seen and we took as our own or for something that was told to us right limiting belief can show up as fear and we have to face it and it might be scary to face it might be sometimes we might have to face some of our family secrets and face some of those things that have happened in our life that might be embarrassing that might you know fear will come and keep you from facing it but there's nothing to fear but fear itself right we've heard this over and over there's nothing to fear but fear itself and i really love the bible because the bible gives us 365 fear knots So there's a fear not for every day. We don't have to fear. We can hold on to the scripture where we don't have to fear. And we'll get into that in a minute. Sometimes we do this. We tell ourselves these lies, right? I'm too old for this. They'll never hire someone like me. I'm not educated enough. I'm not smart enough. I'm not pretty enough. I'm not black enough. I'm not white enough, right? We tell ourselves these lies which are undercover fears. Why can't they hire me because um old, right? Old people are experienced. They got some they got some some notches in their belt. They got a little experience. They know a little something, right? But we psych ourselves out. I'm too young, I'm too old, I'm too fat, I'm too skinny, I'm too black, I'm too white, I'm high yellow, I'm I'm too black, right? We we tell ourselves these stories and these lies and these limited beliefs. And this holds us back from becoming who we're supposed to be, right? Because we limit ourselves by the things that we think and feel, right? No one will ever support me. If I start a business, nobody will support me. Nobody will buy my stuff. Like, right, when I went to go publish my book, I had been working on this book for two years. And the book was literally eight days from being finished. Like, I was able to finish the book in a week. My fear was... Nobody will buy it or only certain people will buy it or nobody wants to support me. Who wants to read it? What if it's not good enough? People are going to talk about what if there's a typo, what like all these things go in our head and we start believing these things, right? We start fearing these things. We start allowing these things to become our reality. And then it limits us from being able to do what God called us to do. Well, we have to learn to face it. We have to face it. We have to acknowledge it. Yes, it's here, but I'm not going to allow it to control me, right? No one likes me. These are this, these are just some things, right? These and more hold us back from doing what we were meant to do, right? If we're stuck on these things, if we're, we're stuck on these lies that I just said, right? These are lies, because people will support you. People do love you. People do care about you, right? I don't care what you've been through there. People just don't hate you, right? There is some people that just hate for no reason. We can't control that. But there is people that genuinely do care about you, that genuinely do love you, that will support you, that will help you. Good. God bless. Thank you for tuning in. There people will, right? We have to we have to believe that. It's a choice. You choose to believe what you want to believe, right? You can believe the lie or you can believe the truth. It's your choice to believe what you want to believe. I want to encourage you today to believe the truth. Shut that fear down. Shut that lie down. Shut that limited belief down and take the courage you need to become who you need to become. In our minds, some of these are really legitimate reasons right from us moving into our reality it's leg- it's 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 a fact right when i look at the fact that yes i was sexually mentally physically emotionally and psychologically abused that is a fact but that was also over 30 something years ago 
If I live in that truth, if I live in that reality, if I live in that pain, if I live in that, that, um, and the incidents over and over and over. And it was five years. There's a lot of different incidents. I can just pick one and every day and just keep going, right? But if I live in that, I would never be free to be free from what God wants me to do. So what you have to do is understand that it doesn't matter what you've been through in your life. You have a choice. You have a choice to walk in freedom or you have a choice to walk in fear. You pick the choice that you want to walk in. You can walk in your past trauma. You can walk in your past abuse. You can walk in your past misuse, mis mishandlement. You can walk in that um, fear, that feeling of rejection that you felt from the past. We're talking about past things. Anything from five seconds ago until whenever you were born is the past. But the fear of you moving from that, I'll never forget when I, um, when God started healing me from the abusive uh, situation that I was in and he started bringing healing in my life. I was afraid because that had become my story. That had become my normal. That had become my life. And I was comfortable in that because it had been so long. So when God started healing me and bringing me out of the situation, it was uncomfortable to be, I don't want to say normal, but uncomfortable to be free from that. Because for so long, I was wrapped up, tied up and tangled up. I was abused and people would feel sorry for me. Like, I don't tell you that today for you to feel sorry for me at all. Please don't feel sorry for me, please. By no means. I don't live there. That address has been changed for years. But when God started bringing me out, my natural tendency was to want to revert back to that because that was comfortable. I'll never remember, I'll never forget when God started delivering me and um, bringing me out of that. Well, first, let me go back even further. When I decided to stand up to my abuser and say, no more, you're not going to do this. Um, and, and to fight him back in the sense of, you're not going to do this to me. I'm going to stand my ground. I will tell on you. I will do what I have to do, you know. At this point, I don't care if you kill me, I'm just dead. Like, at, at least I'll be free, right? That was my mindset. When I stood up to him and it actually stopped, right? When he actually left, I wanted him to come back. I was like, oh no, now what am I going to do, right? Because that had become my normal. For five years of my life, that was my normal, right? Every night, every day, some type of abuse, right? I had abuse became part of my normal life. So if you weren't going to abuse me, I didn't want you in my life. I didn't know what love was. I didn't know. I didn't know. My love was tainted. All these different things. So when God started bringing me out, my natural tendency was what was to go back, was to want that because that had become normal. So fear will keep you in that state because it doesn't want you to be free. It doesn't want you to experience joy, real joy, real love, real peace, right? Now that I have it, I, I can't even believe that I used to want to be in that. But when you're in it, when you're going through it, when you're in the in the in the picture, what I like to say, it's normal. So what I'm saying to you might not make sense. You might like, but okay, I'm good. No, you're not good. Hi, thank you for tuning in. God wants you free. He doesn't want you to stay in that fearful state of if I get out, if I'll never forget. Um God started dealing with me on my finances and he's been dealing with me for years and he's promised me years and years. He's like, I'm going to make you a millionaire. You're going to be a millionaire. And I'm like, okay, God, where's the millions? I'm almost 50. Can I, can I get the millions now? And he said to me, literally, he said, why would I give you millions of dollars when you can't manage thousands of dollars? And I'm, and I'm like, what do you mean? He said, cause you get paid. And before you can get paid again, you're broke. Your account's in the negative. Why would I give you more when you can't even manage what you have? And that really set home with me. And I was like, wow. So I had a fear of having, not having enough. And that fear of not having enough makes me spend more, which is really weird, but it's the truth, right? So when God convicted me of that, I can honestly say that my account, maybe you can count on one hand how many times it went in the negative since then, because I've learned to save. I've learned to manage. I've learned not to spend every dime I have. I've, I'm learning because I want God to be able to trust me with more, right? So when God can trust you with more, he'll give you more. But you got to stop fearing not having enough, okay? All right, Lord, we don't, we're still on point one. Help us today. <laughs> um, 
All right. So yes, these are real things, right? But we're, we're thinking that it's protecting us, but it's not. It's actually holding us back. Because they're legitimate, real things, we have to ask ourselves some questions here. Okay, this is my reality, but why do I feel like I have to hold on to this? Yes, this is my reality, but is this something that God wants me to stay in, right? Ask yourself questions because what happens is when you ask yourself questions, you activate your brain and start working to answer the questions. Then you'll get the answer to the question. Don't be fearful. Don't allow fear to come in because it will. When God gives you the real answer, you're like, that makes sense. But God, you know, if I really walk in this freedom, will I be will, like, will I be real? Will it, is it fake? Like, is it going to, how long is it going to last? Like we start asking questions because we're uncomfortable. We don't understand it. Right. So just because it's your reality doesn't mean that you don't have to, that, that God doesn't want you free from it. Okay. There's nothing to fear but fear itself. We said this. The Bible has over 365 fear knots. So there's no reason for us to walk in fear. Okay. I have uh, five scriptures I want to read and then my time is going to be up. So we're only on point one. <laughs> so um, we'll come back to point two tonight. Okay. All right. So John, 1 John 4 and 18 says, there is no fear in love, but Perfect love casts out fear because fear involves punishment or torment. And no one who fears has is not perfected in love, right? So fear and love go together. And that's a whole nother live. That is literally a whole nother live, right? I'm working on that message now. Maybe once we're done this series, we'll go into the fear. Um, if you want being perfected in love, we'll cast fear out, right? Um, I really believe what the scripture says. We got a love problem, not a fear problem, because love will cast fear outdoors. That's a whole nother topic. My God. Second Timothy uh, one and seven for God has not given us. God did not give us the spirit of fear, but power, love and a sound mind. So every day we have to tell ourselves, we have to remind ourselves that this fear didn't come from God. He doesn't give us that because it brings torment, right? It's intimidating. Fear is intimidating. It will intimidate you. It will make you quit. It will make you throw in a towel. It will make you give up, right? Fear, he has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and self-discipline. A sound mind. So many of us struggle with self-discipline. That's a whole nother life too, right? <laughs> There's We struggle with it, right? Because we just want what we want when we want it. And fear keeps us in poverty, poverty in our thinking, poverty in our feelings, poverty in our bank accounts, right? Fear will keep you poor. John 4, that was 2 Timothy 1 and 7, by the way. Um, John 14 and 27 says, peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you. I do not give it to you as the world gives it. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. We do not have to be afraid. We don't have to let our hearts be troubled. We can rest and, and be assured that God has us. He's going to bring us through it. We can we can take that check to the bank and cash it, okay? Joshua 1 and 9. Have I not commanded you? He gave us a commandment. Be strong and courageous. We don't have to be afraid. He said, be strong and be courageous. This is a commandment from God. Didn't I not command you? He asked him a question. He said, didn't I command you? How many of you have ever said, didn't I tell you don't do that? Didn't I tell you don't touch that? That's hot, right? And people do it anyway. He said, did not I command you to be strong and be courageous? Take courage today. Don't walk in fear. I did not give it to you as the world gives it. He don't give us, he's not like the world. The world does it different than God. God has a whole different system and we need to learn his system and not the world system. We know the world system. We're, we got that pretty much mastered. Now we need to master God's system so we can live a little bit better, right? Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. He says it, don't fear. You don't have to be afraid. You don't have to allow your heart to be troubled. You can rest assured that God has your back, that he's going to bring you through, that no matter what it looks like, you can do it. You can come through it. You can make it, right? Hold your head up and walk through it. Just do it, right? Nike says there's nothing to it but to do it. Just do it. <clears throat> 
Um, Joshua, that was John. I'm sorry. Wait, Joshua. Um, wait, uh, did I just read that right? All right. John 14, 27. Peace I give to you. Peace. My peace I give to you. I do not give it as the world give it. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Do not be afraid. Joshua 1 and I, have I, have I not commanded you to be strong, be courageous? Do not be afraid. Do not get discouraged for the Lord. Your God will be with you wherever you go. I missed, I mixed the scriptures up. So forgive me. Okay. So it says, be strong and be courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged for the Lord. Your God will be with you wherever you go. You do not have to be afraid. You do not have to walk in fear. You do not have to throw in a towel. You can take courage today. Don't get discouraged. The Bible tells us that we don't get discouraged. God is with you wherever you go. My last scripture is Psalms 34 and 4. No, uh, yes. I sought the Lord and he answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. But we have to seek him, right? Then let him answer us. And then he's going to deliver us from our fears. We do not have to be afraid of what can come and harm us. We can just trust the Lord and trust the process. And Lord, my time is up. The last thing I want to say, and then it'll take us to point number two, is when fear comes knocking at your door, send faith to answer it. Say, I won't be afraid. Somebody got this. God got this. I don't have to be afraid of what men can do unto me. God has your back. And that's all you need to worry about because God will take care of you. Amen. Amen. Well, I pray you got something out of the word today. It blessed me this morning as I was uh, studying it and... um. And preparing for this lesson today and tonight and whenever we get it finished, like I literally have a whole stack over here of stuff that we got to cover. So I never run out of material to teach. Um, so it's been a pleasure to serve you today. In a way of announcements, this coming Saturday, I'm so excited um, to be able to um, serve you in the capacity of a book club. So if you have not registered for my book club, you want to register, it is absolutely free. All you have to do is buy the book. The book is Fear is Never Your Friend by Gary. Richardson um, and you can order it on Amazon look I got all my little sticky notes here because yesterday I was working on the PowerPoint for the presentation um, and the actual schedule that we're going to keep so fear is never your friend by Gary Richardson you can get it off of Amazon if you haven't registered you can register by going to ladytalks.com going to my calendar mastering your mindset book club um, register today um, there is a few spots um, left um, like I said all you have to do is order the book and the class the not I'm gonna say the class but the book club itself is free but you do have to register make sure you join me every single morning at 7 a.m eastern standard time i come live every single morning seven days a week um at at 7 a.m so you can tune in to me every morning um literally I'm, I'm right around 30 minutes sometimes i'm a little over like today yesterday i was under um but yes every morning at 7 a.m and every day we have a different topic tomorrow's wellness wednesday so we'll be talking about wellness i will pick up where i left off last week on our powerpoint or presentation that i had prepared for you um i will pick up on that tomorrow so tune in tomorrow um for wellness wednesday um, make sure you share these videos on your timeline. If you follow me, if you don't follow me, get to following me on all social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, and TikTok. I am all over the place. I post on every single one, every single day, but you can literally go on Facebook and um, Instagram and you can share my videos um, to the world. You can go to my YouTube page. If you go to my bio, you can see my YouTube link, go to my YouTube link and you can check out some of my videos there. Um, I have to upload yesterday's, but every day I try to upload the videos so that if you do miss it, you can go back and catch it the replay on youtube you can watch it on facebook and you can watch it on instagram tiktok doesn't give us the ability to watch the replays but you can go other to other platforms and watch those replays if you have not subscribed to my email list go to ladytalks.com there's going to be a pop-up when a pop-up comes put your email in submit you'll be subscribed and when you do that inbox me and let me know because you're going to get a free 30 minute clarity call with me um so we can try to you know work out some kinks in your life so we can help so i can serve you and at the capacity that you need me to serve you um so i talked about this coming saturday every first Saturday of every single month, we do um, our free group 
free group coaching. Um, July the 3rd is the next one. And we're going to be talking about Dare to Dream. So I'm excited for that. You have to register. So all you have to do is click the link in my bio once again. If not, if you need links to anything that I'm telling you, all you have to do is inbox me and I'll send you the links. Okay. Um, we talked about the book club. We talked about that. We talked about that. All right. The last thing I want to tell you is if you have not gotten your copies of my book, you can order your copies today. Um, my 31 day devotional or my 90 day journal, it's 12 or 15 together is 22. You can also order that on my website, ladytalks.com. Um, and if you don't want to order it from there, you want the link directly. I can send it to you. Once again, all you have to do is inbox me. All right. Heavenly father, I thank you. And I praise you for this time of us coming together. I thank you for your word on today. I pray that you would bless the people of God's life. Those that are watching this video live and those that are watching the replay, I pray, oh God, that you would move in their life in a mighty way that you would help us to overcome fear. Oh God. And as I decreed and declared in the beginning of the year, I'm crushing fear this year. I thank you for giving me the courage to do so and to teach others to do the same. We give your name, the praise, glory, and honor in Jesus name. Amen. Thank you once again for tuning in. Share this on your timeline. Hashtag replay if you're watching the replay and tag your friends and family in this video that could use the topic on fear. All right. Until tomorrow morning at 7am, I will see you then. God bless.